Welcome to the Navigation Alerts update for the weekend. Uh, just I want to go over the closed trades first. So we had one closing trade where back on the 11th of October, we sold an iron condor for 88 cents. And then on Wednesday, on the 19th of this week, we bought it back for 57 cents, giving us a profit of $62. And if you look at the amount of money that we risked on this trade, it was about, I think it was $424. So that's over a 14% return on capital in just eight days. So you might be thinking, well, $62, you know, big deal. But I, the, the account that I'm trading in for the navigation alerts is a fairly small account and I want to do it that way so that I can show you that, it, that you can make money even trading in a small account. So, so that was our one closing trade. Uh, let's look at our current portfolio. We've got a, a position in TLT, an uh, iron condor. We've got a strangle in EWW a strangle in EEM, a strangle in eBay that we made an adjustment to as well that will go over on the platform, and an iron con a new iron condor in IWM. So let's go to the platform and take a look. If we look at TLT to start with, uh, as you can see, you know this trade is we're, we're at positive $55, $56 of profit on the trade. Uh, it was kind of borderline whether we took that off today at a 30 per, about a 30 percent of max profit uh, but I'm gonna let it sit over the weekend hopefully it doesn't make too much of a big move and we can take this off at about a 40 percent of max profit uh, exit which is which is what we're looking for on these iron condors the IWM which we already exit we exited an IWM iron condor in a, in uh, November cycle and we entered our first position in the December expiration cycle so you can see we're, we're up a little bit of money in here we're near the middle of our range so we're gonna just set and let that one go and hopefully take that off for a winner EWW is a strangle we sold three contracts uh, you can see it's moved a little bit up on us but but still in our range so we'll continue to watch that and these strangles so iron condors we like to take off at about 40 percent of max profit uh, or maybe a little bit less if, if we get it quick enough. On strangles, I, I really like to get 50% of max profit. Uh, if it comes in less than 10 or 15 days, I'll take it off for 30 or 40% of max profit. But that's the type of uh, exit we want to look for on a strangle in, for example, in EWW. And then the same thing in, in EEM, which is the Emerging Markets uh, ETF. We're profitable here, but we're waiting for a little bit more profit. If we get a little bit of a down move early next week, we'll take this off right away. Or if it continues to move higher or stays right here, uh, maybe later towards the uh, later part of the week, we might be able to take it off for profit. And then let's take a look at eBay. So we put eBay on as a earnings trade. However, we, we did stay in the monthly November cycle, giving us some, giving us some duration to make adjustments if it went against us. And you know, it, it, it went, it had a big move to the downside. So price is right here. So it's right at our break even point. Uh, and, and that's what, and it actually moved a little bit past our break even, which is what caused us to make the adjustment we did uh, the morning after the earnings announcement. And so what we did essentially is we bought back that 36 call and we rolled it so the 36 call here, we rolled that 36 call up to the 30. So if we click off the, the theoretical position, this is what we actually have now. So you can see we really tightened up our range and we collected some additional credit to give us gives ourselves give ourselves more time to uh, to make money on this trade. So right now we're at about a break even point. So we're not up any money, we're not down. So we're gonna continue to, to sit and hopefully it stays within this range. And once we, once we come out with a little bit of a profit, we'll take this off. Anytime that you adjust a strangle like this, really all you're trying to do is get to a point of break even or get a little bit of profit. The trade did not work out in our favor. We're not gonna win every trade, but if we can take the losers and turn them into break even or slightly positive trades, 
that's what we're looking to do. So I hope this was helpful and look for some more trades next week and we'll see you at the next update.